How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone or your iPad to your Windows PC. And trust me, there are a ton of different ways to do this, but this is the best and the easiest process there is. If you're wondering how to do this on a Mac, on an Apple computer, I'm gonna have a link right here, a card you can click and you can go straight to that video because this is Windows PC only. So without further ado, Let's begin. So the first step here is to actually download and install iTunes. We're not gonna transfer our photos and videos with iTunes. We're gonna use the normal files explorer down here. So that's why it's so easy. But in order for our computer to actually see our iPhone to identify our iOS device, we need to have iTunes downloaded and installed. That's what, where most people get confused really. So go here to start and then go to the Microsoft store of course, and then just go to search and then just type iTunes uh, and then just type for iTunes okay so iTunes hit enter and then of course you're gonna see here iTunes you know where it is of course it is free and it is made by Apple and then um, I have already of course downloaded it like previously so then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit launch on yours is gonna be get and then download and then you're good to go okay so uh, let's go ahead and launch right here and then of course you're gonna need to accept it and install it and do the whole process It's a normal software nothing really fancy here just download and install as you guys can see uh, the language here on my computer is Portuguese I'm very sorry about that but with this license I cannot change it but don't worry because it's super simple so there's nothing really here that's gonna be confusing to you which you're probably gonna be using English so uh, now that iTunes is downloaded and installed as you guys can see you can close it we don't need it open or running or anything like that we can close this as well and now's the part where we actually gonna need to connect our cable so our normal cable that comes in the box with our iPhone and I do recommend that you use an authentic Apple cable so don't use those third-party mock-ups or anything like that okay and then connect one end on the computer and the other on the iPhone or the iPad so connecting right here and of course I the computer will recognize it instantly you hear all the sounds and the beeps and everything okay and then of course you're gonna have to hit allow on the iPhone right here so hit allow and then as you guys can see here as well you're gonna see Apple iPhone so Windows will automatically recognize as an Apple iPhone and then with this pop-up right here is asking us to select what will happen uh, when you plug in this iPhone so then we just tap on the notification and then we wanted to open the file so just tap on the file Explorer icon and then tap on here and then it's gonna open my iPhone right here very easily but of course we also have here on the iPhone a pop-up saying that uh, we need to trust if you want to trust the computer again so go ahead and hit trust and then put your passcode so now that it is unlocked as you guys can see I can see it as an internal storage so one very very important thing sometimes this takes a long long time to show up it's gonna show like this uh, uh, this this folder is empty there's no there are no files here it's very common to see this message saying that it is empty even though it is not of course because you have photos and videos right here on your iPhone so just wait be patient sometimes it can take like 5 10 15 minutes just for this to show up if it still doesn't show up make sure to unplug the cable uh, from the computer plug it back in make sure it is is well uh, connected well plugged and still if you're not seeing anything here if it still shows this folder is empty um, there is another alternative you can you can have which is going to your settings uh, and then uh, go to your first page on your on your settings all right and then just scroll down to general and then scroll down to reset and then you're gonna scroll down to reset location and privacy okay that last option this will not harm your iPhone in any way but when you do this uh, you just reset it right and then you unplug the cable plug it back in and then it's gonna ask you once again uh, if you want to trust this computer It's like this reset uh, because we just reset it so it's gonna ask again so it's gonna force Windows to try and see your iPhone and search for your iPhone once again okay so those are my tips if you're not seeing this internal storage uh, icon as we are seeing 
seeing right now on our screen. So now that we are in fact seeing it, make sure to leave your iPhone plugged in, do not unplug and always unlocked. Okay, do not lock your iPhone. So then now it's just a matter of actually picking up your photos. So then double tap, you're gonna double tap on DCIM. And then of course here, you're gonna see all your photos. It's gonna depend how this is organized, which iOS version you're running, if you're connected to the cloud or anything like that. But you just gotta make sure to double tap on the folders and then start looking for those photos and videos. And they're all gonna be here, uh, separated by date and with the name files and everything like that. So as you guys can see, you can see all my photos and my videos right here, uh, separated by those uh, crazy folders that the iPhone creates and Windows just can't see them correctly but anyways you can see everything here so if you want to, if you want to transfer anything at all uh, you have the option to just go ahead and and click on control on your on your keyboard and then select the folders that you want very easy it's just your normal file management or maybe just click on one and then control a and then you're gonna select them all and whatever I'm just gonna have an example here I'm just gonna transfer one file so just one single file so i'm gonna have this here which is actually a video and then i'm gonna transfer and then i just click on the right click with the right click and then uh, uh i can copy i can transfer uh it's gonna be even easier just to drag and drop so i'm gonna drag to my desktop and then i'm just copying to my desktop as you guys can see it's just there is copied that's my file it's away from the phone to my Windows PC. Again, uh, you don't lose it. It's not like it's gonna delete. No, it's just a copy. So you're still gonna have the, fo the photo or the video here on your iPhone. It's not gonna delete it, but you're all also gonna have a copy of it right here on your PC. So that's pretty much it. Here's the video, as you guys can see, took I just took it straight from my iPhone. No tricks here, no anything like that. And that's how you successfully transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to your PC the easiest way without really needing to download or install so many different third-party softwares or anything like that. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in a few more days. Bye-bye.